debunked. Harry's engulfed in the public and media's wrath, Duke unable to hide two-faced twerp. Stories present appears Morgan divided his Twitter following with his latest tweet as he took aim at environmental activist Prince Harry after he reportedly flew on a private yacht. Former Good Morning Britain anchor Piers Morgan hasn't tried to hide his disdain for Prince Harry and his wife, the Duchess of Sussex, Meghan Markle. And in one of his latest tweets, he laid into the prince once more, as he accused the environmental activist of being hypocritical. Harry and Meghan have spoken a lot about climate change and the need to protect the environment. Piers, 56 shared a Mail Online article which was headlined Eco-Warrior Prince Harry is accused of hypocrisy as he touches down in Santa Barbara on friend's £45 million private jet. Posting the news story to his 7.9 meters followers, Peer tweeted, If this two-faced twerp tries to lecture us again about carbon footprints, ignore him. It's safe to say Peer's comments attracted a lot of attention from the Twitter sphere. One social networker wrote, can't exactly get on a public flight can he, to which another Twitter user responded, you're right but you can't fly private jets all over the world while then lecturing everyone on dangers of climate change. He needs to sit this one out if that's is how he wants to travel. Agreeing with Piers, another said, absolutely lost all respect for him, Harry. However, taking a different stance, one social networker fumed, at Piers Morgan jealous are we? especially of his wife. While Piers has his fair share of haters thanks to his controversial opinions, he also seemingly has a lot of fans, who have been calling for him to return to Good Morning Britain. Piers sensationally stormed off the program following a heated exchange with Alex Beresford about Meghan Markle. After failing to apologize for his comments about Meghan, which saw him say he disbelieved some of her claims surrounding her own mental health, Piers quit the breakfast television program. Since Piers quit, his co-presenter Susanna Reid has been joined by a plethora of guest hosts, but ratings have plummeted. Responding to a fan on Twitter who said she wants him back, Piers responded and said, Relax, Evelyn. I'll be back on your TV soon, but he didn't clarify which show he was referring to. Prince Harry has also been accused of overstepping his role when it comes to the Queen after his latest intervention over the crisis in Afghanistan sparked a backlash. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle crossed a line with their response to the Afghanistan crisis, according to a royal expert. Charlie Ray, the former royal editor at The Sun, said that the couple should not have been involved in a response to the political and humanitarian crisis. He told that the Queen should have been the one to make a comment, as he criticized the statement as a very cheap power move. Mr. Ray said that Harry should have issued a statement on his own, based on his direct experience of Afghanistan. The Duke of Sussex, 36, worked two frontline tours of Afghanistan during his ten years in the British Army. Instead, the couple said that the Taliban takeover and ensuing chaos had left them speechless. The statement covered several crises beyond Afghanistan including Haiti, disinformation and the coronavirus. Mr. A explained, I thought it was very cheap to put that statement out. It would have carried a lot more weight if it was just Harry. It has nothing to do with Meghan. Harry has a good insight because he has done two tours of Afghanistan which he served with distinction. But I don't know about using 200 words to say I'm speechless about what is going on. I don't think the people of Afghanistan or anywhere else will take comfort that Harry is worried about them. The royals themselves don't actually get involved in political matters like this. They tend to stay quiet. It is very rare for a member of the royal family to say something anywhere near political. If anyone should have made a comment, an expression about what is going on in Afghanistan, that should be down to the Queen.